Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Gunning Down a Dream. I hope all of you are doing well on the beginning of the week here as we are getting into our holiday season. Coming up on Thanksgiving, I am so very excited for that. My wife and I are going to cook a heck of a dinner this year. Um, I want to say a huge thank you, as always, for you folks that have subscribed to our channel. And those of you folks that haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Subscribe, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and leave a comment. Share with your family and friends if you're in support of the Second Amendment, if you're in support of the veterans of our beautiful nation here, and anything firearms, then you are at the right place. Um, as always, I want to mention real quick, in this video, all firearms are unloaded and in a safe manner, as well as I am not employed by or sponsored by any of the companies. So on today's video, this is going to just be a brief video, we're going to be touching on um, Kyle Rittenhouse the Kenosha kid and the, the situation that is currently ensuing on that and I'm wanting to see what your guys' opinion is on that, whether you think that he was justified in doing what he did or whether or not maybe you think that he should have just been at home and not been out and about doing what he was doing. Um, Basically, just wanted to do a video to see um, what people's thoughts are on that and uh, kind of touch on a couple different things and uh, basically go over different variants of protecting yourself and different, um, what am I looking to say here, um, different applications to protect yourself and whether you are... Um, rightfully defending yourself or whether you are going to get in trouble for it. Um, he just recently had a $2 million bond posted for him to get him out of jail and um, there was the, I want to say, my, the My Pillow guy and then uh, I think an actor named Ricky Schroeder. Um, they are the ones that helped put the, uh, the bail money over the top. To get him out. So what I'm currently holding here, this is an AR-15 rifle. AR does stand for Armalite Rifle, as I always like to mention for those of you folks out there that think it's assault rifle. It is not. Um, so there you go on that. Um, this rifle is also unloaded as well. So this is the rifle or the type of rifle that he used um, up in Wisconsin the night that these events unfolded. Um, specifically this one here, I'm not sure the make and model on the rifle that he had or that he specifically used, um, but I do know it was the AR-15. This one here is the Smith & Wesson M&P-15. Um, it is chambered in 223 by 556 uh, I've also got some uh, customization I'm going to do with this one as well. So um, we're going to touch on a couple things just to show um, what he may have used, which would have been this specific, this specific rifle. Um, here is one of the 30-round uh, P mags from Magpul, and more specifically. So you folks can see, this is the 223 round right here. Um, not very big at all, but it does fly very fast when you pull the trigger. Um, so basically, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, we this the particular ammunition that I have here that I did find. This is Hornaday. 55 grain full metal jackets um, right there so you can get a good look at that. Hornaday, I love their products as well. Um, so basically, I just wanted to do a video and touch on 
Um, should you be able to defend yourself? Um, should you be able to help defend property and our nation's uh, businesses and stuff like that? Um, basically, you know, a lot of people, I've seen it about half and half, a lot of people believe that this young man was in the right for doing what he did. He was carrying a medic bag um, to try to administer first aid and to try and help out um, any injured folks. I do know that he was a lifeguard. Um, I'm not sure if he had any uh, first aid or first responders training underneath of his belt. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him other than um, when this occurred, he was 17 years old. I'm not sure if he has turned 18 yet. Um, but they are trying to charge him with, um, I believe it's three counts of homicide. Um, I'm not sure how, being that he was from another state, but he was in Wisconsin, I'm not sure how their judicial system works and how they, um, with criminally charging somebody, what their charging is. I'm up here in Indiana, so... I know that you've got like murder, class A felony, class B felony, class C felony, uh, class D felony, and then you get down into the misdemeanors and stuff like that. So um, I'm not sure, I, I believe he resides about 30 minutes from Kenosha and I believe it was Antioch, Illinois is from what I understand where he lived, if any of you have the accurate information or the correct uh, information, drop down into the comments and let me know um, if you have any other information on this or what are your thoughts on this particular situation. Um, how do you feel about the people getting this money together to bond him out? Do you think he should be out and do you think that it was self-defense? Do you think that he should still be incarcerated? Um, so as things continue to develop. I, I watch firearms news. I watch anything to do with the Second Amendment um, because I am in support of the Second Amendment so hugely. Um, so basically, you know, the world is not in a good place right now. There is a lot of civil unrest. And my own personal opinion is I do believe that um, you have a lot of people taking advantage of their authoritarian power or their authority. Um, I do believe that people should not be dying um, for no reason at all. There are other methods and other ways to um, de-escalate a situation. You know, I just think that what this country needs is a lot of people to come together and to unite and uh, you know the violence and uh, stuff like that the hate that people have in their hearts I just think that folks really need to uh, wake up and and just enjoy our beautiful country and, and enjoy people you know this stuff has been on for years I'm nobody personal I, I'm just a nobody that's fine um, but I do have my beautiful wife and kids and, you know, I want to see them be able to have a, a nice country to grow up in. I want to see them, you know, be able to see the good in people and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I wanted to do another video just to see what you folks thought about this topic. And, um, basically I'll have some more videos coming up. Um, I will be getting a range video done on the uh, recent unbagging of the Springfield Armory St. Victor, chambered in 308, um, and some different customizations. We're going to be doing some upgrades on some of these rifles. Um, so again, this is Gunning Down a Dream. Those of you folks out there that have subscribed so far, I want to give you another thank you. Um, a quick shout out to McDonald's Guns up in Marion, Indiana. Jeff. Thank you very much. I look forward to having a video coming out with you soon um, with your gun shop. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. If not, um, this is Gunning Down a Dream.
and we will see you in the next one. God bless you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Take care of your family and enjoy yourself.